Heather is Heather is. I'm not even going to argue with you. <laughs> Heather is with us. Heather, good morning. How are you? It's good to have you. Good morning. How are you? Doing good, and it's good to see you again. I understand we've got a some festivities coming up, or, or, or a very important uh, team walk here, and I want to talk about that. Yes, and I was just telling Perez. Mm -hmm. um, Exactly one year ago today, I was here doing the same thing. So I thought yeah. that was really interesting. I, that popped up on my memories on day social to media. Day, uh, how about yeah. that? And it all comes together. Right. It was all fluke, yeah. but uh, I, uh, I I thought that was really interesting. But I was watching your interview earlier this morning with Rebecca when you were on with him and your husband was uh, in the studio. Mm -hmm. What an incredible statement you guys have made together to undertake this this part of your life. And, and I think so many more people out there understand what this disease is and you are you, you and your husband are to be com committed for that. Thank you. Because I I know it's not easy. It's not. It's not. Matter of fact, Nathan was going to come with me this morning. That's what I had heard. Yeah, uh, but yeah. we um, we just started, uh, I say we a lot, as most of you, if you've heard our story, you know I use yeah. the word we because it's a family disease. Mm -hmm. um, but he has occupational therapy, and I did not realize the world of occupational therapy until we started a couple of weeks ago. And some of the things, they taught him a trick. And it is just amazing, this trick that, I call it a trick. I'm sure they would not like for me to call it a trick. But um, I had come home from the office and we have a part-time sitter that's able to stay with Nathan right mm -hmm. now. And uh, occupational therapy had come in and taught him to put a pillow around his, of course, I'm, I always do this. I do this like everybody on radio can see me. Well, <laughs> but well they, now they can because you got video too. So. Well, yeah. Yeah, but they, uh, they had him hugging a small pillow mm -hmm. and hugs it tight. And if you've heard Nathan speaking, his, his speech has gotten to be really slurred. And I liken it to, of course, I wouldn't say this in front of him, but you know how when your kids are little and you're the only one that can understand what they're saying? That's sometimes Nathan, and especially if he's really tired. And... um it's just amazing. It pushes on the diaphragm and does all this stuff that I, I don't understand, but it does actually help him speak more clearly. Yeah. And so we, we've we had our world opened up a little bit for us in the past couple of weeks. Well, kudos to them and just a personal thing because I, too, have had my um, uh, world opened up a little bit from occupation. I never need, even knew what an occupational therapist was, mm -hmm. but I, I, I've been was going for a series of treatments and uh, they did wonders, uh, and so mm -hmm. it's it's kudos to them, uh, an occupational therapist right. uh, at St. Dominic's. Um, you've seen this degradation of his overall health go on. Yeah, where is he now? He would, as far as his health is concerned. Uh, health wise, he's great. Um, Huntington's wise, um, he's, he's probably about mid, mid stage. Mid stage is the longest stage of Huntington's. And for those who are not familiar with Huntington's disease, it is a neurodegenerative terminal disease that's like having ALS, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's all rolled into one. There is no treatment. There's no cure. They can treat some of the symptoms but they can't treat the disease. Yeah. So eventually Nathan will be basically trapped in his own body. He'll, is he mentally there? I mean, is is that, you said Alzheimer's, is that giving away also? Um. Yeah, but it's with Nathan, it's it takes time for him to process things. Mm -hmm. You can tell him something and he'll sit there and he'll stare at you and you think that he's not... He didn't understand you because I've I've been guilty of this too. Uh, just the other day, um, uh, occupational therapy um, from uh, one of our doctor's offices uh, had suggested he do this thing where he's sitting in his wheelchair and uses his legs to propel himself. And I had asked him, "Do you want to do you want to try this?" And I waited and I waited and I waited, and then I went, "Okay, well I'll do it." And I started pushing, and he's like. I just need you to wait a minute. I was going to do it. 
whoa. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, he wasn't yeah. ugly about it. That's one thing with a lot of Huntington's patients, they lose their personality. They become people that you do not, mm -hmm. don't, don't recognize. And um, that's not happened to us so far yet. I, I, I throw in yet yeah. in the hopes that it never does. But, you know, I don't want to jinx it. Since you guys have been so open uh, on this journey mm -hmm. through this um, through this, have, have you? How prevalent is it in our state? Have you have you talked to a lot of people? There are approximately over two hundred families in Mississippi that deal with this disease. But like I always say, it's two hundred families. How many people are in a family? Yeah, you have you have families that, like our for example, our family is a family of four. The two of us are uh, our daughter and our son. And each of them have a 50-50 chance of inheriting the disease. So, you know, the, they, the, the, the numbers say 200 families, but it's, it's more than that. And, and just, because, just because you may test negative for the disease, mm -hmm. you're still affected because you have a loved one that has the disease. True. Um, True. I'm sorry, go ahead. It, it does. It doesn't. Uh, it, it's not only middle age or, or young adults. I mean, it, it happens in children. Children too, too. Yeah. and and that's that's the part I may cry on because that just it's so heartbreaking yeah. to see our our littles go through that. There was a child that um, we had seen, and I think our I think our son had actually been in a couple of. Uh, kids rooms with her at some other of some HD events mm -hmm. and I believe she was diagnosed at four and she passed away about two weeks ago at age seven is this a gene that you find out about during the marriage license no um, no 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 you, you don't find out about mm -mm. that one no in a blood test uh, you do take a blood test but they they are actually searching <laughs> your DNA mm -hmm. um, everyone has the Huntington protein you have it, I have it, Perez has it. Um, it's just that people like Nathan have an increased uh, repeat in uh, that, that I'm, I'm never, I'm not great with the science, but it's my understanding the protein causes the CAG portion of the DNA yeah. to repeat. And say like you and I, who've never dealt with Huntington's, may have like a 29 or less repeat. 30 to 39 is a gray area you may or may not develop and you may or may not pass along to your children. But if you have a 40 CAG and above, which is that repeat in the CAG portion of your DNA, you at some point in your life will develop Huntington's. Wow. Um, the higher the CAG, uh, the earlier in life you will start. Like these kids, some kids have, um, have 70. There's one kid that I think had 125. Um, you just, you know, it's, it's just, it's devastating. And, and they had some other uh, reports of that in the family. Um, the, I believe the father of that family, I'm no. not a hundred percent on that. When we come back, let's cut to the chase and find out uh, exactly what we need to do to help out a little bit because the treatment of this, just the pain medication or what else that, that goes with this problem is tremendously expensive mm -hmm. and, um, we need your help. And that's what we'll talk about when we return for the Hope Walk. Stay tuned right after this. All right, let's talk about the walk because the, the money part of this is most, most important. And uh, Heather Wilmoth is the coordinator for Huntington's Disease, the Team Hope Walk 2023. Where is it? When is it? And how can we join in? It is at the Flowood Nature Park this year on Saturday, May 20th. Mm -hmm. uh, Check-in will start at 8 a.m. Uh, the walk starts about 9, uh, give or take a few minutes. We're flexible that way. Um, you can go to hdsa.org forward slash THWMS, and that stands for Team Hope Walk Mississippi. Um, we uh, invite you to join a team. Uh, we really are partial to the Wilmoth Warriors because that's our team. But uh, you can either join a team, start a team, or just donate. 
and the proceeds to to what these walks um, fund. This is HDSA's way of raising money to to support centers of excellence, which we have one right here yeah. in Mississippi at UMMC. It helps support centers of excellence. Uh, it it helps the nationwide network of social workers and support groups, and helps provide free online support groups and programs. Um, volunteer volunteer led chapters and affiliates in um, education days to help educate people about Huntington's disease. So um, our catalyst, and you, I know you guys are so sick of hearing this story, but for those who've, who've never, who, who wonder why we would do something like this, when Nathan got his diagnosis April 15th of 2016, um, First off, we felt really alone. We we knew absolutely no one who was like us, and we um, we just really felt alone. And it just so happened I I was researching. I I'm, I was being very proactive or trying to be very proactive, and um, I came across HDSA and a pharmaceutical group called Teva were giving away these liftware level spoons. And these spoons, for those of you who, have, who are not familiar with them. Are a mechanical device that help people who have had strokes or have Parkinson's or have diseases like Huntington's be able to still keep some independence and feed themselves. And HDSA and Teva were giving these things away. And because Nathan was newly diagnosed, I didn't think we would be able to get it because he was newly diagnosed. He did not need it at that time yet. But that day was coming and we knew it. Yeah. And uh, because of his diagnosis, HDSA sent us that spoon. And that meant the world to us. And that was our catalyst for really just wanting to give back. And, and that's, that's what we're trying to do in doing the, the second annual Mississippi Team Hope Walk. Um, again, it's Saturday, May 20th at Flowood Nature Park. Uh, that's located at 4774. Uh, I can't speak, and that was on statewide radio. <laughs> I, listen, I, I think it's going around. So it must be something in the air because we started off this way. So oh, okay. uh, let's do let's do a take two on that. Okay, four zero seven seven Flowood Drive, <laughs> Flowood, Mississippi. <laughs> it's Perez's fault. Yeah, I, I think it's his fault. Well, um, I I'd, I'd agree, but then I'd get in trouble. So <laughs> is is there a phone number again? One 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 phone number if anybody has any. Any information to this at all or just needs to contact you they can call me at that six, same number of, oh go ahead. no no they can call me at 601-754-6323 or um of course you can call super talk and yes, they'll they'll get know, in touch with me in Brookhaven. That's, that's it just call us directly and we will put you in contact with her let me ask you this i, I know you follow the research and everything else mm -hmm. on bated breaths just hoping something will, will happen with this mm -hmm. as in in the year since 2016 has there been anything that gives you hope for the next generation um i feel like there will be something and i'm in yeah. hopes that that something will be here in time for our kids yeah um, each of them have a 50% chance of inheriting this. And we have been so, we, we try to get involved in clinical trials as best as we can. I mean, we're practically begging just because from the get go, um, Nathan, even if it didn't help Nathan, Nathan wanted to help his kids. No. And so, you know, Plus, at the end of the day, I wanted to know that I did everything I could in my power to help my husband. How does that weigh on you every single day? It's almost like a loaded gun, isn't it? It is. But I, I, if, if, I made, if I allowed myself to dwell on it, yeah. I, I would go crazy. So we just use a lot of twisted humor. Uh, things like if Nathan's having some Parkinsonsisms, or I can't, I can't, obviously I can't say that, yeah. um, which is the, the tremors, some of the tremors. There's another thing called Korea, but um, the Parkinson's tremors are part of it too. And I'll kind of joke and say, hey, let me go get some chocolate milk. I want a milkshake. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just yeah. twisted. We're twisted if you, if that way. If you way. don't laugh, you'll cry. Exactly. And so we choose to laugh. Mm. Uh, Heather, thank you so very, very much. One more time, P folks. Look, I mean, if, if you if you hit the lottery pretty good and you have an extra twenty bucks, uh, this is this is where to put it.
Most definitely, most definitely. Again, it's the Mississippi Team Hope Walk uh, Saturday, May 20th at the Flowood Nature Park. And uh, check-in starts at 8. Come join us. Come walk. Come donate. Uh, We also do have uh, an auction going on. Ah. And you can you can find the link to that at hdsa.org forward slash THW. How long is that going to go on? Um, you know, I, I'm going to have to double check because okay. I'd like for that to go on a little bit longer than the walk. But it's hdsa.org forward slash THWMS, Team Hope Walk, Mississippi. Tax and, deductible on that one. So yes. you can write it off. That's yes. good news. Heather, thank you. Heather Wilmoth, she's one of the, she's one of the, the, the family of uh, Super Talk. Where in her particular domain, when they call and said that SOB on the air has made me mad, <laughs> she's the person that says, no, he's really a nice guy. <laughs> you really am. <laughs> She 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 run, she runs interference for me, so she's she's one of the many that says, oh, "Please, you know, he's 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 okay. Just give him a chance." I've had some interesting calls that way. Oh, I'm sure you have. Very much so. We'll we'll invite you back in about 15 years to explain a couple of words. Just give an example or two. We'll do. <laughs> Heather, thank you, ma'am.